Thank you, Chair. Uh, on behalf of uh, ALDE, first of all, I would like to pay tribute to Daphne Caruana Galizia. Her name has been mentioned several times here today. Uh, and I would also like to give my condolences to uh, her family. I, I met her sons this afternoon and I was really impressed by their wisdom and their strength. Um, but if you, if you read about her life, that's not surprising. She was an exceptionally courageous and strong woman. Um, and I think that we have to show the same courage. Because I think we're all united today in, in shock, in, in grief, and in our wish to, uh, to uphold freedom of the media, freedom of expression. But we also have to act. The first one to act, obviously, is the Maltese government. They will have to investigate her murder and make sure that the murderers uh, do not get away with impunity. But also those who actually wanted her gone should not get away with impunity. Because this was not just a murder tackling an individual person. She was exposing corruption and crime. And we should investigate that as well. Because this is not a mere Maltese problem. This is a European problem. We're talking about international networks of corruption and, and crime, money laundering, uh, hiding criminal money, uh, etc., etc. So I think there is a, a task here for the European Union. And I, I think uh, the EPP just suggested that we investigate the rule of law uh, in Malta. That was a kind of uh, general statement. Uh, but I do think it is very important that we get clarifications from the Maltese government about the uh, allegations of corruption that she was investigating. We have to continue that investigation. And I would suggest, first of all, in the very short term within the next couple of weeks, that we organize uh, an Econ Libe hearing uh, and we invite uh, people, experts, uh, on the Maltese situation, on the investigations into corruption uh, and crime. But I think we should also look into ways of continuing that and deepening that investigation uh, and make sure that we eradicate corruption and crime and money laundering from the European Union. And Malta is part of the, uh, the European Union. Now, finally, Commissioner, you said the European Commission doesn't have the the, the competence is to actually intervene. And I, I, I don't think uh, that, uh, as uh, Mr. gonzalez Pons said, that it is for the European Commission to conduct a police investigation into a murder. But you can investigate uh, allegations of corruption. And you can indeed investigate uh, allegations that, for example, the, uh, let's say the judiciary is not independent or uh, maybe the police isn't. Because if one member state, whether it is Malta, Poland, Hungary, France, or indeed the Netherlands, or Romania. If, or Romania, if they do not uphold the European standards when it comes to the rule of law, that means that there is no rule of law in the European Union, because we have an area of freedom, security, and justice. And if one member state doesn't function in this respect, then the whole system fails. So it's in everybody's interest that we investigate. And yes, is that painful? Yes, it is. But this is a political union. We all have to make sure that these problems are uh, eradicated. And I think we owe it to Daphne. We can not just make statements here. We have to be courageous uh, and go against those who actually don't wish for us to investigate. But this has to be done. And I hope that uh, we're going to find agreement amongst all the political groups for uh, the exact instruments, the appropriate instruments, in honor of Daphne. Thank you.